Hey, so this uh, short tutorial uh, how to actually extract an image from Firebase using uh, Flutterflow because uh, some people requested this video in order to show them how it is done and I will try to be quick and I will link the code in the description of this video so you have it so first things first, um, of course you need a paid subscription to Firebase in order to have uh, an API calls because you will, this is the tutorial in order to have API calls and when you code an API call, um, so this will take your image from your application and just basically store it in your server, wherever your server is and you need to have some basic uh, settings set up in order to start using in order to actually this thing to work at all so first thing first you have to have a firebase project you have to have identification enabled um, i have only one user a demo user right now and also you need a fire i think you need a firestore database i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm 99 percent sure you need because they you need to have a user and user id uh, sorry user document and then <clears throat> storage uh, you have to have those rules uh, like those who rules over here uh, yeah I, I didn't put them in the file but uh, probably I'll update the file and uh, in github so I can put the rules so this is the storage rules I used I'm using and those are the rules that I use for the firebase database uh, probably other rules will work uh, but those are the rules that I use and also very important you need to have bronze uh, billing plan in order this to work because you need to uh, you need to have the storage enabled and <clears throat> first thing first is that if, if everything is set up correctly in firebase you can actually upload a file i will just upload the random doc and you can just upload the file and when you click on the file and when you you should be ab able to see the this image so you should be able to see uh, the image if you get the preview image uh, it's not enabled or something like that with red because this is what I get I didn't get a preview and I could not um, see the image actually uh, because I did, I, I got a permission or something like that not available or could not have a permission to access the image. Uh, just change the browse uh, to the browse, pay as you go, and then wait a couple of minutes, like ten minutes or something like that, and then try to upload an image again and see if it works. So this is first thing first you have to check before you begin your project. Secondly, I have those three only three pages the first page is my login page and register page uh, i have one uh, email and password um, actually uh, uh, i used uh, only one password uh, for the register as well just leave this field blank go for password just i just leave them leave it blank and it's actually working for me so i don't know if it's that that's a bug or or it it, it can be done like that but uh, but yeah actually what i what i do is i use uh, one email and one one email pass field and one password field for both registration and email uh sorry registration and uh, login and when you log in <clears throat> this is the page that it's uh, that you 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 go to and this page is actually a very simple page uh, it's have a stack um, stack widget which have container 
and this container actually uh, this is the important part uh, the container uh, you can upload a custom asset image in this case I just upload this button so people can click on it or you can just write click on this button uh, or it's not a button but like a container sound like that or just write and write upload or something like that it doesn't really matter so so or uh, so users know that they have to click here in order to upload the image or just to take the image from with with their camera and here you have to make this conditional and use actually uh, a function a custom of custom function it's very simple function i actually got this function from uh, i don't know this why this uh showing up I got uh, the custom function from uh, Firebase, so you can you can have this function as well. And sorry, and this is the function that is actually uh, returning a boolean. You can see here it's returning a boolean, and you can uh, it's only taking the media path uh, from Firebase actually. So it's just saying if uh, there is no medium, it's the, if the medium path is not equal to no or the medium path is not empty, just return true, otherwise return false. This is the simple um, custom function. And then when you go to uh, conditional visibility, just use this custom function and for the uh, for the parameter, uh, just use the widget state upload via widget, which is actually this over here. And sorry for the noises. Maybe I have to close my yeah. So so this is so it's it's actually this is the media display widget, and just uh, make it. Uh, show visi visi uh, conditional visibility and use the same custom widget and if it's true uh, show the image but if it's not true so this is this have to be enabled apply opposite statement so if it's not true if you haven't upload any image you will see this one this um, like a button or something like that you have to upload the image. But if it's true, if you have already uploaded the image, you will see the image uploaded. This is the and this is this the idea. And the variable uh, should be the widget state uploaded media uploaded uh, file or and uh, and yeah. It's uh, you have a submit button. Uh, I I actually added uh, just a text field, just a random text field to, uh, yeah, to just have uh, one more field, not only one field, but to have two fields for my form. Uh, and inside this submit button, you have the backend call, which is actually the plotting image. And the variable, it's uh, again the widget state and uploaded file arrow. And for the name, it's my other uh, text field, which is your name in this case. And then when it's successful, successfully uploaded, I just uh, go to the second page, which is uh, upload successfully. And this is my second page. It's actually taking the image uh, from another Epico. So I have Apico. So I have only two Apicos. One is uh, so let me just show you. So yeah, this is the one. Sorry, this is the one Apico that I'm actually uploading the image to. Uh, it's this one, of course, that I just show. Is this one this is the very important part how to upload the image so this is this is to upload into the server and then uh, this is actually displaying the image 
from the server. So this is very important when you, so this is the code. Um, this is not relevant. This is, I have to delete this one. This is not relevant at all. Um, so this is, uh, this is actually in PHP, but you can use it in any language you, you want. You can actually try and uh, convert the PHP that I just wrote here, here uh, with an open AI um and try to convert to your language or if you know what i'm doing you, if you know if you know what you are doing probably you can do it of course but yeah basically i i take the data like this uh from the apico uh from the app and then take the uh, the uploaded image which is actually taken from here let me just show you. Yeah, it's this one. Uploaded image. And then I'm just checking if there is uh, not, if those are not empty. So I, I want the uploaded image and the name to be not empty. Uh, so this is the uploaded image and the name from here. I want them to not be empty. And this is actually the request that you should get from... Uh, when you execute this uh, this API call, this API request, uh, but uh, it's actually um, it's actually returning the Firebase uh, path to the image, and also some random name, uh, whichever you wrote to the to the field, right here. And then I have uh, this. Uh, you can ignore this, uh, those lines of code as well because it's, uh, those are just for uh, to store the log file, uh, which is actually getting, I should get something like this from the log file. And it's just for me to check what, what I'm getting when I upload the image from the, uh, from the app. And the most important part is right here. Um, it's actually, no, it's actually this function right here, of course, sorry, I, first I said this is uh, relevant code, but actually this is uh, relevant code because this is the function that I'm uploading the file to. This is the function and I'm getting the image, the image path actually, the ID of the, uh, of the image. In this case, I just uh, hardly coded uh, 55, but uh, usually you can uh, pass the ID uh, from here. Like if you're uploading a, a docs uh, like collection or something like that, then you can just take the ID and pass it to the API request and uh, get it from here. And then uh, the folder, I just made it to, because I, this function can be re reused. You can just change uh, the folder name like posts or uh, users or docs or cats or whatever. And this is actually taking the uh, type uh, of the image, if it's PHP or JPEG or whatever. And this is uh, getting the ID, in this case 55, that uh, JPEG. And this is actually copying the image from the source, from, from this link over here, copying the source to the server. And the server, it's uh, images, and in my case, um, uh, posts, and then uh, fifty five dot PNG, PNG uh, in my case, and uh, in the end, it's just returning the uh, the value. Uh, it's very important actually to uh, have this file name to actually return it. Uh, with um, to actually return it something like I'll just show you right here. Uh, you have to have, uh, for example, file name, and then do it like path or whatever doesn't really matter, and then store this uh, like like this. So it should be like this. 
and then uh, just uh, return return the file image it's actually uh, written over here because this this part over here it's not used to be honest um, but this part over here when I'm returning the image I'm hardcore I'm I'm getting my domain of my server from here from this uh, page and then it's test I hard coded this but again you can just uh, uh, write it whatever you want and then test images post 55 png and then i have like Im uh, emg image and then i'm uh, converting this to json and just echo it and then exit the code because i don't need it anymore and then if you go over here and then go to successfully upload it this is the uh the api request and I am getting the <clears throat> image from over here. So this is the code. Let's see it in action. Uh, let me just log out my because my email it's flutter at demo.com and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then log in. And then uh upload up, upload some some random doc like this one for example and you see here uploading and you see success and the image is uploaded in uh, in um, firebase and you can see it from right over here uh this is the maybe this is the last image or i don't know which is the last image because i tried like a couple of times but yeah probably yeah, probably is this one. So this is the last image that I uploaded. You can see it from over here. You can see the arrow again um, as well. Sorry. And finally, you have to write the doc name. So in case my doc or whatever. And click submit. And when you click submit, it's actually uploaded successfully to the server and actually retreated from the server because this image, this screen view, is actually a retreat. Uh, it's an API call that is retreating the uploaded image uh, to the um, uh, to the app. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you have any other questions about any other Fireflow topics. Yeah, maybe I can help. Maybe I can do another video. So thank you very much. And you can actually like this video if you like it. Thanks.